brush some breakfast, clean up a little bit. Another weekend home is a blessing. And get back to editing. I don't know, Saturday, it's a free for all. All right, gonna roll out to Guitar Center. Just need a record player and a desk, I think, and maybe some headphones. Hopefully I'll just stick to my guns and get what I need, but you know I love Guitar Center, so we'll see. Going in. All right, I'm in here already finding stuff that I might want. Direct Drive Audio Technica, 299 USB and analog, pretty dope. Did a little something there. Yeah. Got a couple things. I think I'll set up this record player. Get these stands for these Rocket Fives. Legit excited to sample some records and make some beats. I've got a nice hall, my guitar center. Gonna hook up record player with direct drive. We got two stands and we got the KRK Rocket Fives. So not only are we gonna be able to play records, but the record player samples via USB or analog. I'm really gonna start making beats now because I just spent like 750 bucks. All right, we're gonna set up the record player and the speakers and we're gonna fit it over in the corner there. So we're gonna put one speaker stand, two speaker stands, record player on that table see how it goes. All right, we're opening up the Audio Technica direct drive record player. 300 bucks, Guitar Center. I like that it's got the USB capability uh, because you don't always have analog and it might make sampling easier. Now, it's not gonna make sampling better, I don't think. Um, the analog is the best, right, if you're an audiophile. But hey, I wanna compare, see what the USB is all about. Got our cables here. Oh good, it comes with an actual cable. Not just the connectors. I thought it was just gonna be the connectors, but the table that turns. This is legit. This is probably the best turntable that I've owned. It's right in the corner. It's angled because I'm gonna be sitting here. So we have one there, one there, and you have a triangular sound. And now we open the best part, the speakers. Oh, look at it in all its glory. And the final piece that we need, audio interface. CDs, store. just look at CDs. There it is. I have been waiting so long to bust out this Velcro. I have a perfect situation, check it out. This little guy is loose. So, we're just gonna Velcro the bottom, put them right there. Record player, got the audio interface, speaker, speaker, machine, computer, we're ready. Check it out. Works, nice. I got everything set up, my desk is looking great, everything sounds good. I got the Contact 6 uh, audio interface, the Native Instruments Contact 6 audio interface, audio interface, super good, I love it. My KRK Rocket 5s, they're the new versions. 
Uh, I'll link everything below that I got. I hooked up my machine, I hooked up my record player, Audio-Technica, haven't even played a record on it. Anyway, I got everything set up, uh, but it's about that time I need to start editing the vlog for tomorrow, so I'm gonna cut this off, uh, but a lot of good things got set up. Beats of the Week is coming back. If I can get into this, no promises, but hopefully in the next 10 episodes or so, I'm gonna make a new beat, hopefully sample one of these records I bought down the street, and be off and rolling. So I'm excited, I love you know making music. To be honest, <clears throat> my dream has always been to be a music producer, and I feel like I have a legitimate shot, and I have the right mindset now to make this happen, to produce music. I've been paid. So technically, I'm, I've been a professional music producer for my beats, and they are played actually on my friend's channel, uh, The Warp Zone. We did um, this collaboration where it was like a Batman rap. Hit it. Yeah. It was around the time that Dark Knight came out, and they were doing um, this funny like parody video. Uh, Warp Zone has, I think, over a million subs, a few million subs. Anyway, I went to college with these guys and we talked about it actually when we graduated. Nothing happened and then a couple of years later I made this beat uh, for the Batman rap. I recreated it because I forgot where all my files were and I ended up making 1400 bucks. Just sold it to them outright, <clears throat> which was really cool. I mean, I'm not, you know, like a known producer, but making $1400 uh, from producing music and not being known for that is pretty cool. So I know I have the talent for it. Uh, it's all about prioritizing the time. Take a different approach to relearning the software and the hardware, the workflow, the structure, all the things needed to you know make music and make it sound good because at the end of the day it needs to sound good. I want to learn all the rules just like filmmaking. I want to relearn these rules so I can break them because that's what makes music great. That's what makes film great and art great. Learn the rules so you can break them because you know how you're breaking them. Anyway, enough from me. Gotta get on to the edit, but really excited to bring back Beats of the Week soon.